In a technique called isoelectric focusing, proteins can be separated electrophoretically on the basis of their relative contents of acidic and basic residues. A pH gradient is established in the medium that will be used for electrophoresis. A common method is to use immobilized pH gradient, or IPG strips, to create the pH gradient. The strip is rehydrated within a denaturing buffer. The protein sample can be loaded in the rehydration buffer or in a small plastic cup at the end of some strips. Here the sample is loaded in the rehydration buffer so the proteins in the sample become dispersed in the strip. Each protein, represented by different colored circles, has a net charge, which differs depending on where in the pH gradient the protein sits. For instance, at this middle pH, the blue protein has a net negative charge. That is, more of its amino acids are negatively charged than positively charged. When the same protein is located at a lower pH, some of its negative charges are neutralized by protonation. At this pH, the numbers of negative and positive charges are equal, so there is no net charge on the protein. At an even lower pH, more of the negative charges are neutralized, leaving a net positive charge on the protein. In an electric field, the negatively charged proteins will migrate toward the anode at the left, while the positively charged proteins will migrate toward the cathode at the right. The proteins with no net charge will not migrate at all in an electric field. These proteins are located at their isoelectric points, or PIs. The isoelectric point is the pH at which a protein's net charge is zero. Each protein migrates in the electric field based on its net charge. As it migrates through the pH gradient, a protein's net charge changes until the protein has no net charge and stops migrating. The proteins form bands in the gel that can be excised and used for further experimentation. Isoelectric focusing can readily resolve proteins that differ in pI by as little as 0.01 which means that proteins differing by one net charge can be separated. Alternatively, instead of isolating the bands at this stage, isoelectric focusing is often a preparatory step for two-dimensional gel electrophoresis.